What's up IHS? I'm your host, Francis Clem. And I'm Kimberly Boucher. This week we talk about protests downtown, 35 new American citizens, a proposed project for Cherry Street, and a local police dog. On February 13th, 12 people were arrested and charged with third degree criminal trespassing in downtown Ithaca after they refused to leave the Chase Bank grounds after the closing. The group was protesting J.P. Morgan Chase's involvement with the fossil fuels industry, and the group's primary goal was to condemn climate change. At the moment, the IPD deputy officer is withholding charges toward the four juveniles involved, while the eight adults were arraigned on February 26. Last week, 35 people were welcomed as American citizens at a Tompkins County neutralization ceremony. Tompkins County Legislator Ann Corman welcomed the new citizens with a few words, quote, When I look around this room, I see a lot of differences rather than America being in a melting pot, where we possibly lose our differences. I see America as more of a rainbow where we celebrate our differences, end quote. Jo Judge John Rowley supervised the event, which ended with an oath of allegiance of the U.S., solidifying the applicant's status as citizens of the United States. A development project has been proposed for Cherry Street by the developers of Presby Alley, Urban Core LLC. The project would create a retail and beverage production facility, as well as 53 overnight lodges and two acres of landscaped gardens. The intent is for the area to be rented out for events like weddings, with spaces for gatherings and sleeping. The proposed plan would cost around $13 million. It would also create 25, between 25 and 50 jobs, with the developers claiming they would pay a whole living wage to the staff. A Binghamton police dog recently recovered after being struck by a car. The police dog ran directly in front of a police's car while in the Broome County Sheriff Department parking lot. Broome County Under Sheriff Eric Janis said that the dog, Rudy, was, quote, running around in the parking lot, off-leash, and he ran directly in front of the car, end quote. This is the second time that Rudy has been in a life-threatening situation in late 2018. Rudy was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder. We are glad that he has returned to duty and hope this is the last of his life-threatening situations. Well, that was all for this week, IHS. See you next time. I messed up so much. Yeah, it's good. You have a very like smooth voice. See, when I mess up, it's more obvious. No, she did. Like, I love how you do it. We might as well do exactly what the children say. Take the day off, hit the park, and just hang.